Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Valhalla. Last we left off we were watching the interaction between Dorothy, a um, sex worker, and um, what's her name? Stream, Stream Chan, uh, a, a known cam girl. Um, and we were, and we now know her name is, I think, Chen? Something Chen? Hayes Chen or something like that? Um, and they were just talking about how, uh, she, uh, streamer Chen had, a uh, sex in a jacuzzi and all the stuff that they had to go through for, to, like, to record it or whatever. And Dorothy's, you know, adding in her own commentary, you know, you, you, she's been around the block. Alright, so let's continue. At least the guy didn't burn himself. What do you mean? Last time I had sex on a jacuzzi, my body got so hot, the guy almost burned his dick. I considered investing in a cooling system, but it's so situational and expensive that I'll pass. Besides, those cooling systems require too much maintenance. Wait, I think I should leave, but care to join me in escapades for the rest of the night? Can I plug my services at the end of the night? Sure. Then count me in, I've got the perfect stories. Let us be on our way then. Goodbye, bartender. Bye, honey. Well, let's start the story. You see, there was this mega Santa. Wait, seriously? They left. A pair made in hell. At least they look like they're having fun. That method of filming underwater sounded count convoluted as fuck, though. But I guess it's hard to keep a cool head when you're horny. We're done, boss. Man, don't you just feel great? We're in the same place? Here, Jill. What's this? A bonus. Today I got a taste of the kind of clients you deal with, and... Keep it up. Jill stays silent. Well, tomorrow's a big day, so get ready. That goes for both of you. Oh right, we're having a party. I completely forgot- Oh, okay, let's see what it says here. Uh, so today we made $600 in drinks. We made zero mistakes. So in total, we made $180. We got $800 in tips, $500 for a flawless bonus service. And either I'm getting old or that girl was too much even for me. From our boss, we got $600. So today's total transfer is $2,080. So we actually have more than enough money. Um, Happy New Year. May all your wishes come true in a new bountiful year filled with health and joy. Happy New Year. Well, um, Jill says, I'll leave the closet open in case you want to hide from the noise. Four says, thanks. Okay, then. I'm going go to the sh go to the shop. I don't know if maybe this is the end of the freaking game. I'm really scared that this is, because I've really enjoyed this game. And although there is a new new one coming out, it's not like... Con it's not a... There's continuity, but it's not related to this, so we won't see Jill and stuff. It's an entirely new game. So I'll buy this Mulan tea, just in case, you know, maybe we see, um... What's her name? Um... Just in case we see uh, Kiramiki, maybe. You know, you never know what might happen. Uh, I'll check the news, and then maybe we'll head to work. Oh, wait. The augmented eye is down for maintenance. What? Okay, I think I am about to reach the end of the game. I think with this is the end of the game. Because I think this... Because this was in the Danger You thing. I think this is, um... Like a thing from... Yeah, as we had hoped around the end of development, the road was rocky... We even had some people actively trying to sabotage our work, but like Big Match John, we beat the odds and kicked out at two. Yeah, I think this is the end of the game. I think this is about to be the end of the game. This is very awkward, because I kind of thought there'd be a bit more after this, because this is supposed to be a new episode. Okay, well, let's just head to work. We'll see, um, we'll see what happens. Saturday, December 31st. Jill is silent. Oh, look, it's the thing. It's the magical girl that Jill is, like, why she's embarrassed of her name. Jillian or whatever. There we go. We'll leave it on that. Well, let's see. Gail is in the back getting everything ready. I'll go grab some food I've ordered. They only agreed to work on New Year's if I went to pick it up myself. Jill, stay silent. Are you alright? I'm scared. Gabby will show up at any minute. Relax. Everything will be alright. I can assure you of that. Jill, stay silent again. Drink something, maybe that will cheer you up. Maybe. I'll leave you for a bit. Keep up your chin. Keep your chin up. Well, I said that weird. If you get through this, I'll give you, I don't know, a hug. Does that work? Uh, a hug? A big one. A reward for after everything's said and done. Just stay silent. Gotta go. You can do it. Er, right. Just stay silent. Everything's fine. You've been avoiding this for all these years. Now it's time to face it. Head on. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything will be better after I talk to Gabby. Boss might even give me a hug. I'm okay. Um, hello. 
Gabby. Jill, stay silent. C come in. Excuse me. Gabby, stay silent. Welcome to Valha- Hmm. Hey. Oh. Y you talk first. No, I... Well... Hmm. They both stay silent. Some days ago, I got a letter. And even odder than getting a letter is the fact that it was from your sister. A what? My sister sent you a letter? That's the first I've heard of it. What did it say? I don't know. I never opened it. At least not until now. Huh? I figured I should read it with you. Gabby silently is mad. Yeah, let's do it. Let's read it. Alright then. Oh, they opened it. Sorry. Jill, stay silent. Just... Just that? Yep. Isn't there anything else in the letter? Maybe on the back? <sighs> this is just like your sister. Spent days worried about this letter, not wanting to open it for fear of what it might contain. I lost sleep and appetite thinking about it. And after all those worries, after all those problems, after all these years not talking to her, she sends me a letter. A fucking letter of all things. And she just says sorry? Sorry for what? For our fight? For not talking all these years? <sighs> now I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, I just... <laughs> I remember all the times my sis provoked you that way. Like that time where she gave you chocolates labeled 1, 2, and 4 during Valentine's Day, and you were pissed about the lack of a 3. Or that time when you left an unopened beer bottle on the table, she sneakily opened it and took a sip. She didn't tell you she did it, and you were confused all day long. She always bragged she knew me, like the back of her hand. If the letter was supposed to piss me off like that, I guess she had all the rights to brag. Maybe she was being sincere, though. She did express to me that she was sorry on more than one occasion. She did, huh? Hmm. You told me she died from localized nanomachine rejection, right? In her heart, yeah. Instead of the massive rejection that always makes the news, her case was more focused. They usually amputate or replace the part and call it a day, but organs are different. The condition made her susceptible to transplant. Not to mention artificial hearts and genetic treatment were out of the question. Yep. Thing is, apparently she suffered that since she was 18, but kept it a secret from everyone. Why? Hell if I know, I was angry to learn that she hid it. Why didn't she tell me? Was it to avoid worrying me? Was she ashamed? What was it? Hmm. Wait, how did she live so normally then? She had to use a serum, shots near her heart every three days. Apparently the serum burns like hell. The shot even left her a nasty mark where she had to apply them. So the thing near her left breast wasn't a birthmark? And the rejection was what ended up killing her? The nanomachine rejection was what ended up killing her, but they couldn't find what made her so vulnerable. Doctors said she might have missed a shot or the shots made her other defenses grow weaker. The condition could have just gone nuts out of nowhere, or maybe it was blood pressure. Maybe it was a regular heart attack and the rejection acted afterwards. They don't know. She kept it a secret from everyone, so nobody knows. Maybe if she had told me about it, I could have helped her. Maybe she'd still be alive. Maybe she wouldn't have faced it alone instead of just dying in her sleep. Thinking about what ifs won't bring her back. Huh? I spent so much time hammering myself with what ifs after you told me she died. What if I waited to cool down a bit back then? What if I just swallowed my fears at the, that very moment? What if I had apologized earlier? What if I'd given a chance to the research institution back then? And the amount just increased threefold after I lashed out at you the other day. But today, I realized something. Having such regrets with the dead is a hollow effort. You're alive. You're here. I can make amends with you, but I can't make amends with the dead. I can't apologize to her like I can apologize to you right now. Jill. Lenore, she's... She's resting now. She's just resting after having that heart condition out all these years. She didn't have to face it alone, though. If only she... So, let's celebrate her life and achievements. If we are to mourn, let's mourn her together. If we are to honor her, we'll do it together. Together. Lenore was a fun-loving person. The best we can do right now is try to lighten up, even if it's only for a moment. 
Gabby stay silent. I need to ask, though. Did she really start to complain about chest pain shortly after I left? N no. She didn't get visibly worse after you left or anything. Everything was actually too sudden. She did complain about chest pains from time to time, but that actually goes way back before you left. Back then, it, we thought it was just acid reflux or something. Gods, I even blamed her death on you. I was just too angry back then, and part of me just wanted to put the blame on someone or something. And you didn't deserve that. Sorry. Hey, I'm sorry too, you know? We both have things to apologize for. Don't think too much about it. I should have been more mature and not shouted at you either, so... Let's just call that water under the bridge, shall we? Are you sure? Of course I am. So, how did you find me, exactly? Uh, uh, um... Well, have you heard of a message board called Danger You? I have, yeah. Well, truth is that I visit it from time to time. And the other day I read a thread that discussed the bar, and the description of the bartender sounded just like you. <laughs> Jill stay silent. Are you mad? No, not mad, more like dumbfounded. Gabby yeah, stay silent. Hey, Jill, can you tell me what the problem was back then? What sparked that fight? Weren't you happy with my sister? Well, hmm. Back then, I didn't know what to do with myself after I graduated college. I went in and pretty much hated my last couple of years there. It's not far-fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was with me. Had she stopped supporting my studies, I would have quit right then and there. And then after graduating, I got a very good job offer that she accepted on my behalf in no time. She kept saying it was the best for me and my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? I hated it. I didn't even know if I wanted to go there, but she still insisted so much. Alright, I think I'll end it here for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Maybe... Uh, maybe I think this is the end of the game. I'm not too sure. Um, but for the most part, we'll see. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.